When you went to court with Michael, you were with him every day. Mm -hmm. What was going through your mind? My mind? When I um, went to court to, with Michael for that 2005 case, the last boy that accused him, and um, what I did, I prayed every day for my son to walk out of that court because I knew, and I wasn't praying for him to be freed if he had him done it. I just prayed for the truth because those people wasn't people of his peers that was there. I just prayed every day, God, please let the truth come because I knew if the truth would come, my son would walk out of that court because I knew he hadn't, he hadn't molested anyone. He will not do that. He loved children too much. He would often tell me, Mother, what they accuse me of, it's so wrong. I'd rather split, slit my own wrist than to hurt a child. On the day that they were reading the verdict, did you have anything to say to Michael before he went to court? We, no. I just told him they were ready for us to come down and to read, um, you know, whatever. I can't even think anymore. I'm thinking about that day. And we rushed down there. And they start, uh, my family and I, and all of us were holding hands. And when they was reading off the verdict, and every time came up not guilty. And I felt good because I knew that's what I had been praying for. I was praying for the truth because I'm also in my mind saying, if my son had did this terrible thing, he should be punished. But I knew he hadn't done it. I knew he hadn't done it. But um, I think it was 10, wasn't it? 10 or 12. Every one of them, and I was so happy that the jury listened, and they can, you know. They gave them a really hard time. Yes, they did. When you say they, who are you speaking of? Uh, Santa Barbara. Oh my gosh, Santa Barbara was worse when during that trial. Um, Snedden. Gosh, I I'm not, I don't. Um, I don't want to talk about him. I don't want to say anything because it wouldn't be too nice because I know how he acted. I know how he did. He knew that Michael hadn't done anything. We had other people that he had tried to do evil things to. And we had one was a, a lawyer. He had done a lot of crooked stuff down there. And he knew better, but he did it anyway. Then I understood that one of his sons in prison for life for doing something. Can you tell me what, what it was like when Neverland, they, they sent in a bunch of police cars and they were raiding it and Michael hadn't done anything. I think that's the most terrible thing in the world, what they did. They had, um, I know they said, they said, so you had the 75 or something like that police cars parading down the the, the road to Michael's ranch and they mostly said no we had 79 you know <laughs> and then after the night that they did this I think the same night or the next night they that Snet was out there boasting oh we finally got him dancing around on stage saying that and he knew better going to lose. The way they covered the trial, they... I know. Covered the bad stuff on them. Uh, Diane Diamond was there. When the prosecutors got up there and um, would say ugly things and Diane Diamond would rush out of the court <laughs> and talk to the media 
And, um, you know, when once you leave out like that, they don't let you back in. And so when we, when the defense got up and proved these people, just shut them down because they were lying. Nobody wrote that. They always wrote the bad stuff. And that's what the people got ahead of time, the bad stuff. And that's what the world, they, nothing. So when Michael was um, acquitted on all, all charges, did he have a conversation with you? What was he like that day? That day, going back home, we were all so happy. Um, nobody hardly said anything. Some was crying, and some was smiling and happy that he was freed. And um, well, anyway. Sorry, I know it's hard having to remember it again. Pardon. Yes, it really is. It was a happy ending, but it took such a toll on his life. Yes, it did. Do you think it changed him? Um, I'm sure it did. It. Um, he left America and went to Bahrain after that and stayed for a while. And um, they would get in touch. And I always would ask Grace, how is he doing? And she said, oh, Mother, we're having such a good time. And so I think he was trying to forget it. He was free from the media. Yes. Yeah, because if I was a Chandler and that really happened, Michael's a little guy. He could have beat him to a pulp. He could have beat the heck out of him if it was true, and then called the cops and said, this man got nerve enough to, you know, do what he did. He knew Michael hadn't done anything. He wanted money. And Jordan said on his paper, my father wanted to see how it felt to be a rich man. That's a lot of nerve. Jordan Chandler, he's about, he's, he's almost 30 now. He's a grown man. If you could say something to him, what would it be? If I could do what? Say something to Jordan Chandler now. I would um, I would ask him about why did his father do it, and I, I know, you know, they had a tape and they put it out on television at that time, where Jordan Chandler's mother was married to another man, but the father was still friends with the the mother and the her husband, and they were talking to one another about this, and he told the mother's husband that he was going to get a lot of money out of Michael Jackson. They told, He told him what he was going to do. Came out on TV once and they let you hear the conversation. Heard no more about it. These same lawyers, when they were on, um, they were on as a witnesses, witness for the prosecutors, and this lawyer got up there, poor Jordy, he had to leave the country and all this mess. Jordan left the country because Jordan was trying to get to us to tell us that he wanted to come and testify and tell us that Michael didn't do this. And I knew it already because Michael had told me what Jordan had told him. Do you know Jordan divorced himself from uh, his parents? Mm -hmm. You knew that? Yeah. yeah, because of what they did to Michael. Because they were all friends with Michael, his parents, and him, Jordan. Mm -hmm. he's, he's, not, he's not a kid anymore, Jordan mm -hmm. Chandler. He's the only person on the planet who can clear Michael's name mm -hmm. from that accusation. So, Well, he put it in the papers. We still have that. But it was so such a little bitty thing. And then about two, I guess two months later, his father committed suicide. Do you think Jordan owes your family an apology? Pardon? Oh, yeah, he does. He he should, but I wouldn't even. I would I would get in touch with him. I wouldn't put in the papers and all the way. I I wouldn't want to make him look bad out there. Even after what he did to 
after what he had done because his father made him do it. He didn't do it on his own. He was a kid. But he knew better. But he, like he told Michael, he was afraid of his father. He said, my father would kill me if I did that. And you know the sad thing about it? Michael did for it. He didn't fault Jordan. He forgave him. But that's what kind of person Michael was. He said, I know you couldn't. But he divorced himself from his parents. That's when kids were doing junk like that, you know, divorce. How can you divorce yourself from your parents? Do you forgive Jordan? Pardon? Do you forgive Jordan Chandler? Do I what? Do you Yes, I forgive him, but I wouldn't forgive his father. I wouldn't forgive his father. You wouldn't? I think... <laughs> I don't know. It's tough. I'm not in your situation, but I just feel like Jordan's old enough now to... Yeah, he's old enough now. But he's admitted, but he should... He should do it maybe a little bit more, a little bit better than what he did. But it wasn't him, it was the media. The media, I'm going to tell you something. People have interviewed Janice's ex-husband. They have interviewed other people that are friends with us. And you know what they tell them? Janice's ex-husband, James DeBarge, came to me and said, Ma, guess what? I said, what? He said, um, one of those tabloids wanted to interview me. And he said, what do you know about the Jacksons and all? And he said, was telling them things and everything was good. And they had nerve enough to say, well, don't you know some dirt on them? And he said, no. And you know what they said? Make up something. You know why they said that? We couldn't sue. That's how I figured out. We couldn't sue him. He had nothing. They're going to say, well, this is what he said. But if they put it in the papers on their own, we could sue him. But this is why they do things like that. And some people, just to get the money, they will make up something. But he didn't. He just told them, I don't know anything, but do dirt on them. Anything like that. And this is, the world loved dirt. Your family got a lot of, a lot more than others. Oh, yes. Because the media just want to keep, well, why Michael, though? That's the thing. Why Michael? I don't know. I know because he was climbing a ladder to success and they just want to bring him down. <laughs>